Hello, coffee lovers, and welcome back. I'm here with another I'm Not a Barista unboxing video, and today is super special. We're thrilled to introduce our very own creation, the Momentum Dual Burr Coffee Hand Grinder. If you're new here and share our love for coffee, hit, please hit that like and subscribe button. As we open up the box, you'll see everything included to get you started. Whether you're one of our Indiegogo backers or a potential new user, we hope this quick look at the Momentum inspires you as much as it has inspired us. We've chosen a special skin feel paper for the packaging that's not only pleasing to the eye, but super smooth and comfortable to the touch. As you lift the lid, you'll be greeted by two folding pages. The first thing you'll notice is a warm welcome message, a small token of our appreciation for joining us on this coffee journey. Next to it, you'll find a quick start guide to help you dive right into using your new grinder. And here we have the detailed user manual. We can't emphasize enough how much we recommend every user to give this a careful read. The Momentum isn't just another grinder, it's a unique piece of coffee technology. Uh, understanding all its features and capabilities will truly enhance your grinding and brewing experience. Let's take a look inside. Make sure not to discard the lids. There are two essential accessories inside, a RDT spray bottle to minimize static, and a cleaning brush to keep your grinder in pristine condition. An extra ebony wooden knob crafted from robust African hardwood. It's not only durable, but also beautifully uh, complements the bold black design of the moment him. Also included is an extra triton crank lid, which is 100% transparent so that you can keep an eye on the grinding process, giving you a clear view of the action inside. It's these touches that make your grinding experience not just functional, but also aesthetically pleasing. The uh, adjustable crank comes with a sleek aluminum black knob, and if you look closely, you'll see Humanity Runs on Coffee engraved right on top. Let's gently loosen this ring. Pick your favorite lid, put it on, and that is all. Let's adjust the crank. Start by loosening the knob on the top. Once that's done, you can easily move the crank to the position you desire. Inside this seemingly simple crank, we've embedded a spring ball plunger to provide you the physical feedback when the position is secured. And changing out the knob is just as intuitive. With a simple pull, you can detach the current knob and switch it to the one you prefer. And now it is the Momentum Grinder itself. This beautifully designed, bold black grinder isn't just a treat for the eyes, it's durable and well-built. As you hold it, you'll immediately feel the quality craftsmanship that went into every detail. The unique feature is that you can fine-tune both the pre-breaking burr and the fine-cutting burr individually. This level of control helps you dial in the perfect grind size for your coffee, whether you prefer a finer grind for espresso or a coarser one for French press. Let's turn our attention to the catch cup. Notice the full circle of strong black magnets at the top. When you disassemble the catch cup, inside you'll find the fine receiver. It's designed to accommodate a sieve filter, transforming the catch cup into a sifter for even more precision in your grind size. And below the fine receiver is an additional lid. You can use it um, to cover the catch cup to distribute or sift your grounds. It's these thoughtful details that set the momentum apart. Let's give installing the sieve filters a go. Momentum comes with three different size filters, one ring, and each is designed for a specific purpose. This is the ring to use when you don't wanna use a sieve filter. If you like trying sifting your coffee, 
there are 400, 600, and 800 microns, three different sizes for you. And using these sieves is a, is a breeze. Simply open the catch cup, place your chosen ring or filter at the bottom, then snap it closed. Just like that, you're all set to start. Changing or removing the filters is just as easy. All it takes is a gentle push with your finger and the filter pops right out. Feel free to experiment with the different sieves provided. Each one offers a unique way to refine your grind, giving you the freedom to, to craft that perfect signature brew. Unlike most hand grinders, the second grinding house operates differently. When you adjust the ring, it's not the conical burr inside that moves up or down. Instead, the outer burr teeth are the one moving, altering the grind size. With just a simple pull, you can remove the fine cutting burr. As for the first pre-breaking unit, there's a knob inside that you can use to extend the adjustment range of the first burr. So this is the second grinding unit, the fine cutting burr. Chances are you've never seen anything quite like this in a hand grinder. Uniquely, it operates without a spring, functioning seamlessly once the axle is connected to the grinder. Thanks to Lance Hendrick, we improved the design of the axles and made them strong enough to handle all serious grinding situations. Now let's talk about something important assembling the grinder and resetting it to zero. And you'll find a reset marker here. We recommend disassembling and reassembling the grinder when it's in the zero position. Always align the zero on the dial with the marker on the body and gently push the grinding unit back inside. If everything seems aligned but the pieces aren't fitting together, it might be due to the axles inside. Just gently rotate the first axle until you feel it slot into its perfect position. This little adjustment ensures everything fits together just right. Of course, if you prefer not to start at the zero position every time, that's completely fine. And feel free to begin at any setting you like, like 10 clicks at a position one or 20 clicks at position two. The rest steps are exactly the same. Next up, let's explore the dechaffing function. Keep in mind, this is um, an experimental feature we introduced later in our production, and it's not 100% perfected yet. The effectiveness of removing chaff with this simple filter can vary depending on the type of coffee you use and its roast level, but we're excited to show you how it works and hear about your experiences with this innovative feature. Installing the dechaffing sieve is a easy too, just place the filter over the top and watch as it automatically snaps into place with the help of the magnets. It's crucial to ensure that the sieve must be perfectly aligned inside with each line matching up precisely. Rotate the sieve and lift an edge gently and it will detach from the magnets. Now let's put the dechaffing feature to the test and grind some beans. We'll start by weighing 15 grams of coffee for the fine cutting burr, we'll set it to position zero, which corresponds to 80 clicks. And uh, for the pre-breaking burr, finding the right setting might take a little experimentation. We're going with 45 clicks as a starting point, but we encourage you to explore and find what works best for your coffee. Keep in mind, the finer you set the top burr, the longer the grind will take. Conversely, a coarser setting speeds things up. However, since the dechaffing sieve has a fixed size, it's often helpful to detach the second grind unit first. This way, you can ensure your coffee grounds pass through the sieve while leaving the chaff on top. It's all about finding that sweet spot where the coffee flows through and the chaff is left behind, ensuring a cleaner cup. Give the grinder a good shake to make sure there are no leftover grounds stuck inside the grinding unit, then go ahead and grind for a few more seconds. After you've finished grinding, go ahead and detach the grinder. You can see a, a small amount of chaff left on top. Well, this try isn't perfect, which means you have to fine tune the pre-breaking burr to find that sweet spot. Let's do a regular grind without the dechaffing sieve.
with the built-in sieve filter, separating the fines becomes a breeze. Now, we're not saying to discard them, quite the opposite. There are creative ways to reuse these finer grounds, and we're excited to share some interesting recipes and tips with you. We hope this video has been helpful in getting you acquainted with your new grinder. If you have any questions or need further guidance, feel free to drop a comment below. We're here to help and love hearing from you. Until next time, keep exploring, and as always, keep grinding.